Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyIT. In this video, we will show you how to install Windows 10 on a Mac in 2020. I get a lot of people asking me, why would you want to put Windows 10 on a Mac? And my reply is always, you have nice Apple hardware, why not put the best OS software on that hardware? And guys, if you disagree, leave a comment in the comments section below. Okay, let us get started. You will need a Mac, a USB stick, and a copy of Windows 10. To get a free copy of Windows 10, you can get it from the 123myit.com website under Downloads. However, you will need a Windows computer to download that copy onto your USB drive. In the Downloads section, scroll down to where it says Windows 10 Media Creator Tool and run that. Select Create Installation Media for another PC. For language, I select English US, Edition Windows 10 Pro, and Architecture 64-bit. Next we want to select ISO file. This is the Windows 10 file that we will copy to the USB, and then from that USB we will copy that to your Mac's desktop. Okay, so I've already copied the Windows 10 ISO file from my USB to my Mac's desktop. The USB stick I am using is a SanDisk dual drive USB. It has both USB-C and the older USB 3 so I don't get stuck when using USBs on my new Macs. They are very helpful. If you want to buy one I'll leave a link in the description below. Once the Windows 10 ISO file is copied to your Mac's desktop, go ahead and open the Boot Camp Assistant. Just click on Finder and then search for Boot Camp. Click Continue. Okay, if Boot Camp doesn't select your Windows 10 ISO file automatically, go ahead and select it manually. As you can see, mine has detected okay. The next step here is to partition your hard drive so that you can fit Windows 10 onto your Mac. If you're unsure about this, just move your slider to halfway. Click Install, and then your Mac will download the Windows support software. This may take a while, so let the Mac do its thing. It will then partition the disk. Just follow the prompts and it will eventually restart. If everything has gone okay, you should see the Windows 10 setup screen. Just go ahead and select the options for language and click on Don't Activate Windows Now. Select Windows 10 Pro. Agree to the terms. And then Windows should go ahead and install on your Mac. Okay, select your country and follow the prompts to set up Windows 10. So set up for personal use, click that, and I always just use offline account, but feel free to set up Windows however you want. Click Limited Experience and then type in your username. I just create the 123MyIT as a user. Add in a password and click Next. I always just click No and then Decline. It's up to you what you want to use for privacy settings. I always just click No. Awesome, you have just installed Windows 10 on a Mac. The last step here is to make sure that your boot camp drivers are installed. It's a really important step, so don't skip this. Otherwise, things like your sound buttons on your Mac won't work properly. You should see a boot camp window on your screen. Just click next and follow the prompts. 
If you didn't get this screen, go back into your bootcamp folder on your hard disk and run the bootcamp setup.exe file again. If you want to check that your drivers are installed properly, go into the device manager and you should see all your devices installed properly. Sweet, that's finished now. Check your devices and you can do a restart and test if your sound and your volume buttons work okay. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as copy music from Android to iPhone, iPad and iPod. And please feel free to ask questions in the comments field below. Also, can you do me a favour, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.